You're fucking? Oh, he's, he's fucking. He's fucking. He's fucking. Okay. Oh, shit, bro. Mm-mm-mm. My man. Bum, 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 bum. He is fucking. He is lucky and he's fucking. Boom, 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 Welcome back to Anime Casuals. I'm Lucky. Here I go! This hand of mine is burning red! And I'm Michael. Realize the only ones who should kill are those who are prepared to be killed. Johnny. Your darkness swallowed up my son? Who decided that? Opting! Burning! Now all of you. Die. 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 Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Anime Casuals. I am Lucky. Uh, I'm Michael. I'm a Johnny. And we make up Anime Casuals. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching our casual discussion. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about Western anime. I mean... It could... I'm sorry, Western anime, sorry. Western cartoons. Whoa. I gotta stop myself. That would have been a completely different uh, discussion right there. Oh, my God. Um, (laughs) Today, we're talking about Western cartoons or really any other cartoon besides anime that we'd like to see as an anime. Um, And this is all inspired by the new announcement that uh, Rick and Morty is getting its own anime. So, I figured, why don't we just talk about some other... You know, uh, cartoons that we would like to see as anime because that seems like a good choice. You guys said that was like there was actually like an anime episode or something like that from Rick and Morty, so that's why you think they're probably doing that. There was there was an anime short. I think that was just on their YouTube channel, and then there was like a f- what was it like what was the whole thing? But they do was- like episodes <laughs> in the theme of anime, kind of like um, I know you've seen it. The if SpongeBob were an anime ep- yeah. uh, thing on YouTube, mm-hmm. kind of like that. They have like fun with it. So, I mean, it's very anime esque, but it's kind of like, uh, you're making fun of it. Yeah. <laughs> Which actually brings me to my first cartoon, SpongeBob. After watching that yeah, <laughs> SpongeBob okay. as an anime, I really got actually, so that technically the Rick and Morty was the inspiration for this list. But when I first saw SpongeBob as an anime, by the way, just look up SpongeBob as an anime on YouTube and you guys will find it. It is a fantastic representation of how completely batshit crazy anime takes everything. Um, and I don't know. It just, it, it tells this like really vivid story. And um, I'm sure I remember what, what theme song they use. I think they might've used something from, uh, Oh, by the way, did I tell you guys I was on the treadmill one day and I was listening to like just random anime OPs and that song that played during uh, the SpongeBob uh, car- mm-hmm. SpongeBob as an anime came on. And I was like, I see it all. I see it. I just, <laughs> I just remember seeing everything. So it was so cool. But SpongeBob has so many weird elements as it is that yeah. fitting it into an anime is almost like it's almost too easy. It's almost too easy to bring up like a fucking squirrel underwater, uh, you know, just a, 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 a villain that's the size of an ant. You know, it's just there's so much there to make an anime out of. And uh, yeah, and you can make it a slice of life if you want to. It doesn't have to be a fucking crazy action anime like the uh, other uh, the YouTube video was but yeah either way Spongebob as an anime would be fucking amazing and so yeah let's go ahead and go over to you Michael no I will not Ooh, speak anymore. you know if, okay. that, if that video hadn't have been there for Spongebob I don't think I could say it but admittedly because that video exists I could not say it because I was going to say Spongebob too at some point if I was didn't, also going to say Spongebob I was like it well. has to be said <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to do a throwback to uh, and I know there's already an anime version of this out already but it sucks um sure. hey, i'm gonna go with the x-men original series uh, um right. there's already like one baby little anime on netflix it's kind of animated it i think it was done by a japanese studio i don't know that's not like when i was watching the first couple episodes i was not impressed and i thought they could have animated up and like made it really dramatic and extreme so I really like the original X-Men series because it bases a lot of it off the comics. And then the whole story is just really fun. And like, if you want to get deep dived into X-Men lore, like you just watch that series and be like, oh, I guess I know like a lot about X-Men now. And now I understand. And it would be really fun to watch it 
in today's animation standards done by a Japanese studio or just a really good studio out there because the, the effects of it would be really good. Like they could they could do all sorts of things with all their powers and I'd be really excited to see it. Would you be upset if they did that, but it was all chibi? Well, that's a different one on my list. <laughs> and I would, yes, I would. I would absolutely not like that. <laughs> X-Men quartet. I don't yeah, know. I was going to say, and then it would be a comedy. And I, th- I guess uh, I would still be okay with it, but it, it would it would not be what I would be going for. <laughs> Netflix one was okay. It looked nice, but yeah, um, wasn't a whole lot there. <clears throat> uh, man, this one, this topic kind of got me going down a weird place. And I'm like questioning whether I should say some of my picks. Uh, so I'll go with something pretty ordinary. Uh, I think Transformers could benefit from an anime. I mean, there's already been a few, I guess, that have been kind of close to it. I mean, there was one uh, recently because I tried to just type in Transformers anime, see what's popped up. And um, I think it was like the most recent iteration where I guess it was kind of close, but it definitely wasn't, you know, traditional anime. Um, And I just think that there is a lot of opportunity there as far as, you know, every anime likes to have their transformation sequences, you know, so they could just have a lot of fun with just having them transform. Uh, I, and I think it could be funny too. I just think um, it'd be a good medium or maybe we're just beating a dead horse. I don't know. I like Transformers. What? What are you going to do about it? it? Is it just me that I would want a Sailor Moon transformation where Optimus Prime like jumps in the air and then sparkles go around him and then suddenly he's a car? <laughs> I'd be okay with it. I mean, if anybody's going to, Optimus Prime he summons his like sword of yeah exactly yeah exactly or it's the other way like he's always the truck just going around then he does a beautiful sailor moon transformation into a human or a a robot man maybe do a crossover sailor moon jumps into optimus prime oh my god inside of optimus prime and controls him from the oh my god and then he wears a sailor moon dress (laughs) oh my god that was so weird like right when we were talking about this fucking heard police sirens outside and i was like oh my god they're, this is such a great idea they're, <laughs> they're coming, coming for it bro they're, they're coming. coming for it wasn't there a fucking police car uh in in uh mm-hmm. transformers i was like oh shit he's coming for me bro uh actually on that point a little bit just to expand on on johnny's thing uh i would love to see a beast wars version of, mm-hmm. of an anime because they got i, I mean that. looking back on it now it kind of reminds me of reboot where like the animation sucked but like the story was actually pretty good and uh and i'm like can you imagine this in today's animation? Anyway, um, the next Is reboot one, on your list, oh, dude. It should be, dude, because I remember, <laughs> I remember it that was, was the first. Anime. That was the first time I ever. That's like a Canadian one too. I think that was the first time I ever saw a, a show on Cartoon Network where like people died and and like shit happened. I was like. Oh my god, this is real shit. Uh that that's a good that's a good honorable mention right there. Um <laughs> this is a weird one. Um and I'm just going to go into it because I remember this was like my first ever uh like show that had like action packed shit in it, which was SWAT Cats. I absolutely love this show, SWAT Cats. There was just something about it, dude. Just a fucking town full of uh, furries, which I don't know, maybe that, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I get really, like, mad at furries nowadays, but then again, that was, like, my first exposure to really good cartoons, so. You, you seem to slip it in every episode. Yeah, it's it's strange, but anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> dude, it's just so, so great, just having two guys fly a fuck i don't even remember the plot to be honest with you but who cares you know it's just can you imagine swat cat it's just two cats in a fucking jet fighter uh fighting monsters and shit and oh just it would be so cool it would be so cool dude it would be so cool and then like maybe in like in the maybe like the anime they'll have like a a dog that they fight that's like shiba inu that'd be fucking dope dude oh my god now now we're talking okay so that's pretty funny (laughs) uh you know street sharks uh, yeah maybe? that's a know. good one yeah <laughs> i don't know i don't know if that was on in your list so you're just talking about swat cats made me think of street sharks and i'm oh, like bro that's so good some of those old cartoons were pretty like kawaii like like pretty like did you get inspired by animation or anime like like where are you coming up with this weird like ideas for mm-hmm. things um but i think i now have to i'm gonna work one more oldie in uh mm-hmm. because it was one of the shows I watched heavily when I was a kid. And it was one of the darker shows I watched, both literally and story-wise. And we're going to talk about Batman, the animated series, the original animated series. Uh, Batman Beyond might fit an anime 
better to be honest because it just has like True. more room to be kind of ridiculous and you know be dramatic af but i want to see the the original batman um because it was always kind of a darker grittier version of what batman beyond was uh, and i think it was a little bit slower like i haven't watched it in a long time but it was always a little bit slower progressing through the story but I thought it was always amazing. And it also linked up to Justice League at the same time. So that would be really interesting to uh, have a, a DC anime show that also started pulling in other characters just so we could see them experiment with like Superman as an anime character, uh, Wonder Woman as an anime character. And I think that'd be really fun. I actually don't know. Do you guys know if there's a DC anime there, there, there's a there's like some batman anime ish stuff um there was like a thing where they got a bunch of anime uh cart like uh artists together and they each made a sketch uh-huh. um the, like uh, one had dead shot in and one had like that yeah. but nothing like nothing like a universe like you're talking about like an actual universe where like yeah yeah, yeah. shit happens no nothing nothing like that yeah there was also that one where he went to Japan or something, and it was all like it was a, that was the movie. But I, I kind of want what they did with Star Wars to oh, okay. happen to like DC and Marvel. Like just start whipping out some small shorts mm-hmm. and like 20, like 10 to 20 minutes and just experiment with it. Because the medium is much better to tell than being like, hey, let's have a whole TV show about this and then watch it fail or watch it actually do good. It's like Especially DC, like DC could probably get a lot out of doing something, <laughs> short things, not making an entire movie and going, oh wow, that was terrible. <laughs> yeah, doing Sorry, anything I'm, at this point, bro. I'm fucking... gonna take my opinions, <laughs> put it back over here. <laughs> See, I think DC needs to just almost stay in its corner, its nice little Western animation corner, and mm-hmm. just start making movies and just releasing those in the theaters because I think people would see them. Plus, they're usually cartoon or not cartoon, kid friendly. So I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know. I think that's a way to do it. And they're usually way better too. I mean, you're right, John. <laughs> Uh, my next one is going to be Ninja Turtles. I think that would be uh, fun. Um, that might be another one that uh, has been, I don't think it's been done recently, except for like the movies. But um, I think that would be something that I'd like to see get uh, kind of like what you were saying, as far as Batman being a bit more darker and grittier. Mm-hmm. I think uh, Ninja Turtles could benefit from that. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's always kind of a, uh, I don't know, literal darkness just because they're in the uh, sewers. But, you know, there's more to that that they could explore and i think uh it would do really well with an animation style to it yeah and i just think that'd be fun to see so yeah, yeah. Plus, Ninja turtles plus the weapons are already there true <laughs> do they need to switch them over to just random things oh, oh teenage mutant ninja turtles bro that brings me back do they have some good cartoon iterate i feel like every single cartoon iteration has been pretty decent in the 80s, the 90s, I think there was a 2001, and then there was a recent one on on on, uh, on uh, Nickelodeon. I was like, I was like, oh, mm. that's actually not too bad. To like, be, yeah, yeah. One of the newer ones was supposed to be really good. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of, I was like, man, they just keep on like if every 10 years they just make a new fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and then eventually do an anime. I'm fucking. Good. I mean, dude, look how good they were in um, uh, Injustice, dude. Like they fucking yeah. kicked ass in that shit. Everybody loved that stuff. So, um, going on the superhero thing, I think. You know, we talk about like a lot of different superheroes. We got like uh, like a, like Batman, Superman. Um, we got uh, you know people like Captain America, all that kind of stuff. But we just don't have somebody representing the planet. But you know who does represent the planet? Captain Planet, baby. Let's go, dude. Dude, I can't. Can you imagine Captain Take that off my list real Captain quick. fucking <laughs> Planet? as uh an anime okay and you know what gave me this idea there was a there was a funnier die sketch with don Cheadle as captain planet and it looked fucking hilarious like it was hilarious it was just making fun of it but i was like oh dude captain planet is kind of a ridiculous person he just represents like the cleanness and then he has like captain pollution as his like main and en- like his biggest enemy sure. or whatever mm-hmm. and uh i mean I, I just think there's so much you could do with it and so you know um Maybe go even deeper, like, uh, there's, like, more captains. Maybe there's, like, a... Like, there's so much anime bullshit you can just insert into that. That could be so cool. And then we can get an... Ex- the one thing that I, I felt like they did pretty well in the Captain... Uh, sorry, Captain Planet uh, mm-hmm. cartoon was they actually expanded on a lot of the kids. For people that have never seen Captain Planet, they have, like, a kid representing, like, Earth, Wind, Heart, 
for yeah. whatever reason and all that other shit. And they actually expanded on a lot of them. You know, one of the the kids, their cousin died from a drug drug overdose. Like they got real in that show. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think they could get even like more real in an anime mm-hmm. and just fuck some shit up and just have Captain Planet. I don't know. I, I just think it'd be really cool. I mean, it could be a much more expansive world. I mean, they could really explore because like the original Captain Planet, while I had some good story, like a lot of the fights and stuff were pretty like yeah, cliche, basically. right? Yeah. I mean, they could throw in like keep it clean gene and like it would be really <laughs> good. Keep it clean gene, and I'm here to say. <laughs> Nobody outside of San Jose knows what that is, Michael. Come on. <laughs> yeah, but it's a, it's a San Jose. It's is all for you people from the oh, Bay Area. Oh my God. Uh, but anyway, speaking of kids, um, I want to throw out the code name Kids ne- uh, Kittens Next Door. That's a good one. Good one. Um, That's good. It, and and this is the thing is like we we've saw. Basically, all the uh, anime that we've been talking about, <laughs> if it were transformed into anime, would be like long storylines and like pretty intense story arcs as well, where we're like building upon building. Well, Codenames Kids Next Door was really good about putting those major like story beats hidden in a way in the background of like their three like stories per episode. Um, is that how that is that how the show went? I yeah. Think it was like two. It was yeah, like two. It was yeah, like, yeah, okay. It was yeah, it was like two 10 minuters that was like spliced in there. And I think it would just be fun to have like more little short form anime. Like they could just do 10 minutes each. They don't need to combine them together and just whip them out. And then like when you're like, oh, who's uh what was it? who's number one's dad? <clears throat> and like who who's who's like the the family line of all these kids and like like working in the parent association or working in like a like working outside both organizations like how codename kid next door just told all these ridiculous stories in the background of them going we have another mission the kids over at the kindergarten have ran out of cotton candy and we need to go get them cotton candy let's go and then it would be like ridiculous stuff but i think an anime version of it would be really good (laughs) i could definitely enjoy that seeing just like a terrified anime girl's face like oh, oh. like they're building a bigger cake just like the first episode it'd yeah be great it'd be fantastic <laughs> and totally what, what was that was it the evil kids from down the lane yeah the delightful children yeah the delightful yeah. children the yeah like Father, it would be so oh good God. they could animate the crap out of that <laughs> weirdly that makes me think of uh, my hero academia <laughs> sometimes <laughs> like all the kids just fighting um uh all for one <laughs> It just feels similar. But with their kid toys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is my uh, my weird one. Uh, I think there was a show once upon a time called Animorphs. Yeah, it bro. Was kind of, <laughs> it was yeah. a strange show, but it was cool. Fuck uh, yeah. I remember getting some toys from like Burger King, and it was like a flashlight that you would twist it, and it was like a person. And then it was a rhino a person, right? <laughs> It was so silly, but uh, this show was cool because it had to do, from what I remember, I think there were aliens involved, there was some kind of cosmic cube, and they would touch it, and then we get the ability to turn into different animals and stuff, and I think um, that could be something really cool to see in kind of a revival in anime, Uh, whether it be kind of animated more a bit loosely, kind of like a trigger, I think that would be a fun one, Um, or if it's more serious one, that's fine too, but I think uh, that would be an interesting one to bring back. I think it'd be fun to see. So, Animorphs. Yeah, that was the book series with all the really weird looking books. Uh, <laughs> oh my book God, covers. Dude, yeah. I read yeah. one of those fucking books and it was about like the worst one. The guy who got fucked the most. He, he turns into a fucking lobster. Oh, the, the lobster guy! Yeah, dude. And one of the first things that happens, the fucking cook finds him like out of fucking uh, the Little Mermaid. You remember that fucking that fucking chef just like mm. I love to cook little fish. You know that fucking bullshit, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Fucking finds him right off the bat and almost fucking kills him. Oh my god, that's the problem with that fucking animorphs thing. You any any and all animals, bro. You don't you don't always uh-huh. get a gorilla, bro. Was you there know? a guy who like became a cockroach? Yeah, dude. There was some <laughs> fucked up shit in there, bro. But uh, that's a good pick. Uh, I guess we should do our uh, lightning rounds now because. Go, 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 go. It's just it's just so easy to get involved with this because I like there's so many here. Uh, let me see. So uh, John, Dex- Johnny with his live action just slipped in there. <laughs> yeah, right. I actually do. My brain got weird a little bit. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see that <laughs> shit. Uh, so oh wow, that's cool. Okay. We got uh, Dexter's lab is my first one. That's just obvious, you know. Especially I would love to see Dial M for Monkey. Dial M for Monkey and Action Hank would be awesome 
to watch on that. That would be awesome. Um, Johnny Bravo. I don't know why. I just, I just imagining like the muscle definition, like fucking JoJo's Bizarre Adventure coming out <laughs> would be fucking hilarious to me. Uh, Powerpuff Girls kind of had something like this, but let's just do a good one. I guess this time is uh, <laughs> yeah, they did have an anime. They, they, yeah, let's just see like a good one um, at this time, and then. Uh, Two okay, weird ones here, just weird and funny ones. Uh, the wild thornberries, just because I would love to see anime fucking rhinos and anime Darwin, yeah. and especially anime. Um, uh, I forget what the hell the little crazy kid's name is, but uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, seeing like his whole backstory, how no. tragic that is, and just they need that drummer like, to come back and do his voice. Uh, <laughs> basis, basis, bro, that's flea. Yeah, yeah, the basis, <laughs> yeah, yeah. flea, flea for red hot chili peppers. That's so crazy. And then just finally another funny one, uh, Rugrats. I just can't imagine, like, Codenames Kids Next Door, where just everything turns into an anime adventure. Because that's basically what they do all the time. So, Oh, uh, and just one more thing. Uh, the Magic School Bus. On the same note. Oh, uh, my brain just... Ex- I was, like, thinking of that, right? Oh, <laughs> shoot, it just came to me. Because I, I was thinking about the damn Cheeto thing, dude. I was like, I was like, dude... Dude, I was thinking the watermelon thing. <laughs> oh, dude, that would be so fucking sick, bro. Oh, my God. Okay, anyway, go, go ahead, Michael. Take that's, a, that's a quick high five for Boom. Lucky. Bam, Boom. Bam, that was beautiful. Uh, okay. Okay, so hopefully I don't take any from Johnny because uh, I know we watch a lot of the same stuff. Um, uh, first is probably the most anime of anything I have on my list is Ben 10. Ooh, um, yeah. It's Ooh. literally an anime, but it's a cartoon. It's a Western cartoon. So, you know, get that up there. Mm-hmm. You know, an anime that the F out of all these aliens that he has, you know, they're really interesting already. I think we could do better. Make it 10 billion in that little Omni watch. I think we can do better. Mm-hmm. Um, I want Teen Titans to come back. Mm. Okay. We're just going to leave that there. Uh, Danny Phantom. I, I want oh, an anime nice. of that. Uh, I think that the it's, uh, again, I'm touching on things that are already kind of anime like, but I think we can, I, w- I think we can bring them back, give them to, give them to Japan, give them to Korea maybe, and be like, just <laughs> redo it, bring it back over. You know, maybe other people want to watch these shows that aren't us. I like it. Um, and I'm just to stop with my last one because I think it was inspired by anime, and I think we could all love a nice animated Kim Possible. Oh, I think nice. Johnny might enjoy that. That could be think. dangerous. That could be dangerous. But you know, when somebody asks you, "Do you have any daughters that you could take the prom?" Always remember, nine. <laughs> you know, Kim the really <laughs> useless guy with the you know not useless chicks so. and, and maybe this Fist time joke. kim will get with shiga instead of rock oh damn. or it's all in high school and she goes just the popular chick oh instead of bonnie okay yeah, i oh. I'm, I'm throwing some weird stuff okay <laughs> uh power rangers i know there's been a lot of stuff that's kind of very similar to power rangers but i just mean like an honest to god just strictly power rangers you know i mean uh i didn't end up watching the rest of um uh what was his name uh samurai flamenco Mm -hmm. i think i got halfway there and then i had to stop because that's all i downloaded at the time um uh that's a good place to stop it gets weird after that (laughs) and there's a new power rangers one where the the two power rangers fall in love but like one of them's working for the hero one of them's Uh, working for uh, villains love after world domination yeah that's a great anime Mm -hmm. um but yeah i don't know i just i would like to see a more Again, it's just kind of the theme of, I remember seeing it as a kid, it was very, very accessible for me, but now I want to see it a bit more grown up. Like, I think they, there was like a short where, um, uh, what's his name, Tommy? He did like a short where he's in like an interrogation and it looked really awesome. He did yeah. an insane like fight scene with it and he broke out of there. Anyway. And every series could actually be good instead of just rehashing the kind of the same idea over and over again. I mean, giant mech fight. Uh, I'd also like to see something cowboy. I mean, that's really vague, but I don't know. I've just, I don't think I've seen a Western uh, anime. Closest one was Cowboy Bebop and Google agrees with that. Uh, I just, I don't know. I think it'd be interesting to kind of see something like literally very Western. Actually, Trigun might be uh, along those lines too, but I didn't see enough of Trigun. So, I mean, that's one I got to check out. Uh, You said Captain Planet. Yeah. My two live action ones. um, So some along the lines of how it's made, or something like that, just because I remember I watched, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Thermo Roma, uh, the bathroom one, and yeah. uh, that ended up being very kind of chill, and I didn't expect that. I don't know what I expected. It's about bathrooms and, you know, spas, but uh, how it's made, I think that'd be kind of 
a weirdly therapeutic slice of life ish okay. kind of thing. People could just like put on and then just not pay attention. Um, I'd like to see amazing race, just a bunch of different <laughs> pairs of, you know, people, different anime, you know, pairings and couples running around a city oh, <laughs> and they have to deal with everything God. in an anime fashion. <laughs> and that is my lightning round. That Johnny, that's a great, great one to end. That's a great one to end. Oh, like Jesus Christ. All right. Well, that is, uh, those are all really good picks. Those are some bangers actually. Now, now I'm thinking maybe if we put it out in the universe, We'll uh, probably get nothing back in return, but you know we'll uh, we'll go ahead and hold on. Netflix, we yeah. Just start sending ideas in one day. Oh, yeah. dude! Especially it's since especially since that X Men one had so much potential, and then it just you know kind of mm. fell flat. I think the Wolverine one did a little bit better, but um, it did, yeah. But I mean, still, I mean, if you're not gonna get the whole X Men right, I mean, what's the damn point? You know, it's like come on. Very true. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for listening and watching our casual discussion on western cartoon or just cartoons in general that we'd love to see as anime don't forget you can check out all things casual at the link tree in the info box down below also if you'd like to email us you can email us at anime casuals with an s real r-a-l at gmail.com but as always guys don't forget to keep it casual <laughs> uh-huh.